today but then I realized I actually haven't met the deans of the school that I work for at Columbia in person and so I was like oh you know what it's a brunch it is on the weekend but I do feel like people will get a little bit more dressed up and because it's my first time meeting the dean in person I kind of want it to be just like a little nicer you know you know what I mean so we are wearing the sweater dress combo to meet my team and the rest of the staff and faculty for brunch in Harlem. Then after we have a little workout, so that should be fun. Whew. Okay, so I'm going to brunch, but I have like an hour commute ahead of me and <laughs> I haven't really eaten too much this morning. So I just made a little snack of apples and peanut butter. Also, hello, how are you? My name is Nika. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe. I have a goal to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year, which is a little crazy and delulu because my goal for 2023 was to get to 1,000 subscribers. And currently, as I'm filming this, we're at 890. But you know, still living my delusional fantasies. So if you can subscribe and help us get there, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Anyway, my name is Nika if you're new. I am a 29 year old graduate student at Columbia University studying clinical psychology. I'm in the midst of my PhD applications now, so finger crossed. I actually just had two interviews last week and I was supposed to start this vlog yesterday, but I was like really busy and tired. I also was supposed to post a video yesterday that I didn't do, sorry. But what I found really funny is I asked you guys on my channel, what would you prefer, like weekly 20 minute vlogs or bi-weekly hour long vlogs? And most of you guys said the 20 minute vlogs, which really took me by surprise because I don't know, I just feel like people watch my longer vlogs, I guess for a little bit longer. I don't know, I just thought people would like longer vlogs. But because of what you guys said, I am picking up the vlogging camera today. We do have a really big day ahead of us. I've mentioned the brunch like 500 million times. Then we have a workout at Barry's, which I'm really excited about. And then my friend's 30th birthday is tonight. And it'll be really nice because I haven't seen a lot of my volleyball teammates in a while. My friend who's 30th is tonight, she's on my volleyball team. So a bunch of us are gonna get together and then go to her party. So I'm really excited about that. And yeah, I'm really excited to like hang out with you guys, take you with me. I feel like I haven't vlogged in quite some time because I've been adding all these different videos to my channel, like my book reviews and my plan with me's. So 
just by nature like I just haven't been vlogging as much so today should be really good I want this vlog to be focused on like fitness and like what I do to maintain my shape because I'm actually going to be shredding actually probably in this video in order just to look cute for my vacation app coming up oh my god should I tell you guys I'm going to Colombia and the middle of February, like in two weeks, I'm really excited for my friend, who's also on my volleyball team, for his 30th birthday. <laughs> Everyone's turning 30 this year. I mean, I am too, but at the end of the year, thank God. <laughs> so I want to look really cute because, you know, I'm going to be in a bikini for a lot of the time. And I love my body. I feel really comfortable with my body, but I definitely have like some tips and tricks that I do when I know I want to just like be really tight in my midsection so I'll be sharing some tips with you guys along the way but right now let's head to Harlem and get to brunching <laughs> my god so <laughs> I went to Amy Ruth's and then I double checked the invite and it's actually at Red Rooster I don't know why I came here and maybe I just wanted some Amy Ruth's so whatever we will I'm like should I walk up or should I hop on the train let me see what time the train's coming maybe we'll just walk up because I'm like 10 blocks away so we'll see <laughs> my phone was like dying while I was out but I feel pretty productive like we did brunch we did berries now I'm going out to my friend's birthday party this is my outfit I feel really cute I hope you guys can see my little booties but yeah I do want to talk to you guys about my like fitness plan for Columbia did I mention I was going to Columbia like the country not the university so I guess the cat is out of the bag now, but yeah, I'm going to Columbia for my friend's 30th birthday. I'm really excited, and my stomach has always been, like, my problem area, and I do have a method that, like, gets it together really quick. Like, it definitely can do it in two weeks. I just, like, always dread doing it because, honestly, I love my body just the way it is. I do not like doing this extra workout that I have to do in order to, like, transform my stomach, but... I want to look real good in Colombia, so we're gonna do it. I will probably talk to you guys about it maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow I am teaching yoga and I need to make a new sequence, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time to do the workout then, but definitely on Monday. We're gonna hang out for a few days. So my friends are texting me. I need to figure out where this bar is. Oh, it's kind of far. I could take the G and be there at 9.30 or maybe a bus. Okay, so I'm going to go hang out with my friends. I'm going to take my phone with me. Maybe I'll add a little clips to the vlog. Otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Love you. <laughs> Should I just like scurry off?
literally was so hungover i could not even talk to you guys like at all like it was it was no for me i was like destroyed <laughs> i think it's because like i had that brunch which i had like two drinks but i didn't really eat that much like i ate good food but then right after you saw like we went to berries so probably burned all of those calories and then literally <laughs> before i went out last night i had like five chicken nuggets and then there was food at the party i just like didn't eat any i had like one spring roll so it was a recipe for disaster i literally woke up in my bed the next day like starfish like <laughs> like so confused do you even know how i got home <laughs> So it was quite a night. Happy 30th birthday, Danny. I literally had so much fun. Okay, so for today, we need to get back to some sense of normalcy. <laughs> I really need to clean my room. It's like a mess. My entire apartment actually is a mess. So let's just start with like a little cleaning session this morning. And then we can talk a little bit more about like what this is supposed to be a fitness vlog. I feel like I haven't even worked out. I did teach two yoga classes last night, and I would have showed you guys, but I literally was just so dead. I don't even know how I taught them. And it was so funny, too, because at one point in time, I I had gotten confused, like, my left and my right, so I cue everyone to open up into Warrior 2, and then I'm, like, <laughs> I'm the only person that's, like, the wrong way. <laughs> I was like, you guys don't need me. You know what you're doing. <laughs> But it was fine. Okay, let's start cleaning. Let's wake up. Let's make coffee. I'm like, honestly, I feel so much more awake just from talking to you guys this morning. You guys give me life. Also, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. All right, let's make this bed. I need to change my sheets as well. I fell asleep with my makeup. I never do that. Like, I was quite, quite wasted. <laughs> I already said good morning, I think. Whew, I'm still feeling not 100%, but definitely better than I felt yesterday. My brother got me this like Dolly perfume from H&M for Christmas, so I figured I could wear the set now. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Wow, look at that. Oh my God, I like don't even care what it smells like. The bottle is so cute. Wow, great. I love having just like little perfumes that I can wear like around the house because sometimes like I don't want to wear my really nice expensive perfume if I'm not doing much. This smells kind of like, I don't know, like cotton, like linen, like it just smells like clean, which isn't something that I would typically pick for myself. I really just like florals. This is nice. It's good to like 
experiment with fragrances. Plus it comes with like a lotion and a rollerball. So like, how fun. Yay. Oh my God, my loves, I legit forgot I was vlogging. So here we are, <laughs> still vlogging. So I, it took me a really long time to like finish organizing my finances, but I did that. And then I made like a little budget for February. Then I went to log in to my work to like see if anyone sent me an email or if there's anything I can look over or just like start working on this project that I've been working on for a while. And for some reason, like my password wasn't working. So I was just like, okay, you know what? I've tried like five, six times. Let me just go ahead and reset it. I reset it and it doesn't like, it won't reset for 48 hours. Google was like, we need 48 hours to confirm that it's you. Probably because the UN has like extra, extra, extra security, but I'm just like, dude, like I have, like I literally am meeting with someone on Thursday to like go over this big project that like, I still have it. Like I need to work on it <laughs> before I have this meeting on Thursday. And it's Monday now, so Monday, Tuesday, so I'm not gonna get access until Wednesday. Ugh, I'm so annoyed. But I was talking to my coworker and she was like, maybe you can go to like IT or whatever and see if they can fix it. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow. And I guess since I can't actually work at my current job, maybe I'll just spend the rest of the day applying to other jobs because my contract ends in April. So yeah. <laughs> This is my plea. I'm having some eggplant parm and like just some pasta. I honestly, this is probably the most chaotic video ever because I have not actually been doing a lot of B-roll. <laughs> but I wanted to chat with you guys because I am going to Colombia, trying to get my fitness together. I actually do feel like I've really been toning up. And I think I owe a lot of that to like honestly just eating more carbs. Like you don't realize because of diet culture and like social media, everyone's like high protein diet, high protein diet, high protein diet. Yes, and protein is good and well and dandy, but when your body doesn't have enough carbs, it's gonna eat the muscle. Like your body prioritizes fat. So especially if you're like me and you've kind of maintained the same weight for a very long time. I did have a fitness vlog not too long ago in which I think I lost like maybe five or 10 pounds, but essentially at that point I was like 140, maybe 150. That was like the heaviest I'd ever been. I honestly haven't weighed myself in a while, but I feel like I'm always around like the 130, like 130, 135, 145. Haven't been in the 120s for a very long time. But essentially I'm rambling. What I learned from my nutrition class is that your body prioritizes maintaining your fat. So if you're not eating enough carbs and you're working out a lot, your body is going to sacrifice muscle. Like you're not gonna get the new muscle gains that you want if you're not having the carbs. Like yeah, the protein's great and all, but like you need your carbs. So tonight I have Soul Cycle. I also wanna try the new like fitness craze. I think it's called 328 or something. So basically three Pilates classes, I, let me look it up. I, I don't even know what it is. Three days of weight training, which for me are mostly my Barry's Bootcamp classes and my Yoga Sculpt classes. And you do two days of Pilates. So I like to go to Solid Core, but I also want to check out Club Pilates. You get your first class free at Club Pilates, so I really want to do that. And then walking 8,000 steps a day. I haven't really done that. So maybe after we eat lunch, we'll go on like a little hot girl walk so we can get our 8k steps in and yeah i did do weight training not yesterday but i did berries on saturday i took i took you guys with me okay look i'm rambling but i'm gonna eat now then we're gonna do our 8,000 steps then i'm gonna plan i actually have two yoga sculpt classes already booked so i just need to do one more berries class and then i'll see if i can get into some pilates classes too and that can be our little fitness plan to get really cute and fit and right for uh <laughs> Columbia. It's so funny how like <laughs> I literally start this vlog with like brunch, drinking, <laughs> going out, and now I'm like, time to get fit. But we can be multi hyphenate, you know, balance. It's about having fun, partying with your friends, eating pasta, and still doing your eight thousand steps a day.
so <laughs> it's actually a lot harder than I originally thought to get 8,000 steps in. pomegranate and then I do the de-seeding myself because I think you get a lot more seeds than this when you get a whole pomegranate but they just didn't have any so you can only buy what they have green bell pepper salmon two avocados their vegan Caesar dressing and then the green goddess dressing these both are so good like I highly recommend them if you haven't had them already then I got my favorite trail mix which is the happy trucking trail mix with like pistachios and sweet like dried cranberries dark chocolate so good and then i also got candy pecans for my salad to add like a little crunch pineapples for a little snack i don't know i've really been craving like acidic fruit like i got a grapefruit last week i actually still need to finish it and now pineapple and i got two oranges so i'm just like yeah i feel like i want the citrus add broccolini because I haven't had broccoli in a really long time and I figured for dinner I could do something simple like the salmon broccoli quinoa call it a day cucumber grapes which fruit is so expensive I don't know why it's like this like honestly at this rate I need to just like get a garden and garden myself oh and then last but not least I got this power red juice i'm not sure if they're gonna like keep it or if it's just for valentine's day but it's so cute and pink so i wanted to try it and it's a blend of organic beet strawberry apple watermelon elderberry cranberry and hibiscus tea so that sounds good and the lady was telling me that she likes it but it's not sweet like she likes the purple juice the best and it's good because like I like the purple juice, but it's like a little too sweet for me. So she said this wasn't as sweet as that. So I'm looking forward to that. And I think I spent $65.69. I feel like I didn't even get anything. <laughs> but I think the fruit and the nuts were probably just really expensive. Oh, and like the salmon, obviously. But I'm thinking we can have the salmon, quinoa, broccoli, and then I can make a kale salad with like the pecans, cucumber, bell pepper, pomegranate seeds, and I have some carrots and celery in my fridge. So that can be a nice little salad to have for lunch tomorrow for work and on Thursday when I have to go into the office too. So yeah, feeling pretty good about that. I did want to buy myself some flowers, but I actually had it on my vision board to buy myself a nice luxury bag for february for myself for like valentine's day because i am so single but i still want to get myself a nice gift because we have to you know put that energy out into the universe like if i was not single i want my boyfriend to get me something nice so i'm just gonna treat myself the way i want to be treated <laughs> all right cool
got this really cute bag from the United Nations and it says ensuring rights and choices for all. How cute is that? <laughs> I love it. So we are now on our way to SoulCycle. I'm meeting my friend Fonzie there. I'm really excited. And there's honestly a crew of us that goes to these Monday night classes. So it should be a good time. And I kind of feel bad because usually like we ride together and then we go to Trader Joe's after, but I really want to go sleep early tonight because I think I went to sleep at like 5 a.m. on Saturday night slash Sunday morning. And yeah, I went to sleep at like midnight last night. It's like when you have that night where you stay up basically all night, it's hard to get back into like your sleep schedule, you know? So bag is all packed. Let's go to Soul Cycle. Oh, one more thing before we leave. I did get to 8,000 steps today, but my God, I did not realize how hard that was gonna be. Like I truly thought it would just be like a mile, like I could do my regular walk and it'll be good. No, I think 8,000 steps is probably like two or three miles. And actually we'll probably really surpass it now because SoulCycle is about a mile away from my apartment. So, uh, let's go. <laughs> soul but I'm noticing like I'm getting stronger like I don't burn as many calories in that class anymore and I'm not like as tired as I usually am after soul so I think I need to just start like adjusting and like going a little bit harder but it's so crazy to be like wow like those classes used to really kick my butt and now they don't kick my butt as much it is I think about nine o'clock and I want to go to bed early tonight because I want to try to get in at 12 3 30 tomorrow morning we are 10 days out from Columbia and I literally had eggplant parm for <laughs> lunch <laughs> and I just ate a bunch of chips and guac I'm so bad but hopefully the 12 3 30 will help I'm just gonna have some like veggie soup for dinner tonight and uh yeah that should be it I also kind of want to watch like a little kids show in Spanish just to help me like work on my Spanish like maybe if I can even find like a Spongebob episode or I don't know something on YouTube we shall see cool I was going to have a little slice of bread with the soup but I had so many chips and guac I don't need any more carbs <laughs> First thing in the morning. Let's go. <laughs> no one's here. We have the gym to ourselves, which is nice. I'm just gonna take this treadmill because why not?
believe we got up and we did that. I am so proud of us. I have to go to the UN today. And I'm wondering, because I really want a coffee, but I'm boycotting Starbucks for Gaza and Israel and stuff. And I just don't know. Last time I went to the office, I did the Pret and it just like was not as good. So let me know if you're based in New York, you know, any good coffee shops, leave me a comment below. I'm like obsessed, like literally obsessed with Hungry Ghost, but I don't think there's one by Grand Central. So we gotta figure that out. I'm also apparently at like the end of my skincare. So I literally have like nothing to even put on my face. I need like a moisturizer, but I guess Sunscreen is kind of like a moisturizer, right? So I ordered some stuff from Soco Glam just because I do feel like Korean beauty, like K-beauty is a lot more affordable than American beauty. And there's like this one vitamin C serum I really want to try called Hyper C. Um, it's an American brand, black owned brand. If you have tried them, let me know. Or if there's any like brightening products that you like, let me know in the comments below. Because I get the worst hyperpigmentation on my chin here. I like absolutely hate it. Yeah, but until my beauty stuff gets here, we're just gonna use our sunscreen as a moisturizer. Very limited skincare routine. And I do wanna do an updated skincare routine video. I don't even know if I've done like a skincare routine video, period. So <laughs> I do really wanna do one of that. And I think we spoke about this in my morning routine. I did get some stuff just to do like a light everyday face. So I really have been loving this Yummy Skin Tint by Danessa Myricks. It's like so good. Highly recommend. And it literally like the coverage is just like amazing. And the color match is just like insane. Like I've never had, like I tried the Ilia one, the Tower 28 one. And like they were nice like i don't have any complaints but the color well i guess i do have a complaint <laughs> the color match was not as like spot on as this one is so like i didn't really like sunny days that much well i guess i just didn't really wear sunny days that much because it made me look like a little ghosty so i would always have to do like more makeup to like make it blend and look all right and decent but this baby it literally looks just like my skin it's insane okay so we're making really good timing i am probably going to have the rest of the eggplant farm for lunch today one because it's already done and i can just put it in my like pinto box and two because after the un i have to go up to columbia because i have my awakened awareness lab with my girlfriends which I'm really excited about, but it just, <laughs> I'm not gonna get home till like eight, so it'll probably be really advantageous for me to have a nice, heavy, sturdy lunch because I don't want to buy anything while I'm out. Because guys, my <laughs> hobbies have been very expensive. Like I just had to buy a piano for my piano lessons, which I don't know why I didn't think about that, but that was a couple hundred dollars. And I, now I need a new SD card for the vlog, and that's probably gonna be another hundred dollars. And yeah, oh, I'm also working on that podcast. I think I've mentioned it to you guys before, and I need to pay the graphic designer for her work, and that's another $300. So <laughs> we're saving money and not eating out where we can. <laughs>
All right, my loves, I'm going to love you and leave you here, mainly because my camera is telling me I have like 18 minutes left of footage and that's just not enough for me to vlog the whole day. My original intention truly was to have you guys with me all day today and I was going to end the vlog tonight, but I'm off to the UN now, then we have Colombia then I will honestly probably just do an editing marathon tonight because it's Tuesday. I'm supposed to go live with the video. I don't have one that's ready to post and I miss Friday's upload. So I'm going to try to actually post two or maybe three videos this week. And I'm also realizing while this memory card is dying, I actually have another memory card that has like my vlogging set up. When I got this camera, I have a new camera. If you guys haven't noticed. It's also why we're filming in 4K and why my memory cards don't last like they used to. <laughs> but I love you so much. Make sure you subscribe. If you haven't left me a comment yet, I would love to know what is something you're looking forward to this week. Honestly, by the time you guys see this, I might be on my way to Colombia, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, Colombia the country with my friends, <laughs> not Columbia University, but honestly, I'm running around so much, I might be doing that too. All right, love you guys so much. Make sure you subscribe. Bye.